Hi Trace Squad and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tracy. Welcome back, welcome back. If you're new, you know what to do. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And we've got a bunch of new videos coming out for you guys, of course, because this quarantine is not easy and I'm gonna make sure I've got you all. So today's video is quite a simple video. It's short and it's just that I wanted to bring you guys a few series that you can watch during this time to entertain yourself. Okay. It's just a few series that I've watched that I've enjoyed and I just wanted to share with you or so if you've seen any of these series let me know in the comment section below comment it so that we can see what we have in common but also if you haven't seen any of these series and you would like to check them out based on my recommendation yes girl leave in the comment section below as well and I will definitely be checking it out and I will definitely be responding to them as well. Yeah, I'm sure. Bear in mind that this um, list that I've got is not in no particular order. They are just, I've just, yeah, I haven't categorized them into what's best and what's worst, but yeah. Okay. So, where do I begin? You know, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let's get right into no, no, wait. Let's get right into, into. Not everybody was born to sing. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Ew. <laughs> Sip on my coffee as I write another hit. At times I get cocky, so I keep a joint lit that rhymes. T-shirt the same color as my skin. That's why. I, 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 I. The first one we've got on this list is Money Haste. I love this show, Money Heist, Money Heist, Money, whatever, however you want to call it. La Casa de Papel, however you want to call it. But this show is very, very interesting. It's very, very good. And it's based on um, a bunch of people trying to rob the Bank of Spain. And of course, doing that, you're going to come across a lot of obstacles in the way. And the show tries to unravel that. You know, these are based on characters that are technically robbing a bank and depending on how you look at it you may fall in love with them you may hate them but generally the overall consensus among people that watch the show you end up falling in love with these characters One. it's very light-hearted and of course on the block on is it on the on my block this is a very funny show personally i enjoyed watching it it was very interesting it's based around a bunch of kids well kids um trying to figure out life friendship Four friend, no, one friendship group based on four different people. Um, they all have their own life struggles and stuff, and they are trying to be friends. But yeah, a lot of things happen, and you're just in school trying to find the dynamics. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, and hence why I'm not saying so much about the shows, but just a brief overview. But on the block, it just makes you laugh, and it gives you. Um, yeah, it can just make your day because it's not too serious. And I think in this time of quarantine, something like that would definitely be helpful to somebody. The third one is 24. This is a series that I just started watching. Um, I've been meaning to watch it for quite some time. Of course, I had studies and I had things going on. And this series is very good. It's based on... Um, as you hear, 24, so 24 hours in the day. And every episode is based on one hour um, of the day. And a lot of things happen in this show. <laughs> I don't even know how to put it. It's just, it's very interesting. So this is a, this is somebody who works for, I would say, I don't even remember, but I think it's the government or something. And um, they are, the wife and the kids are kidnapped, but there are people who want to assassinate the president. So he's trying to save both ends and the struggle of it all. I just finished season one. So I'm going to move ahead. I started season two, but yeah. Yes. On to one number, more, number four. Top Boy. <laughs> this is a series that I'm sure the majority of you have seen, but for those who have not seen it, it's on Netflix, you should go watch it. It's very good. This is based in the United Kingdom, um, London. Is it London? I don't even remember, but it's a UK show and it's a very, very good. It's, it talks about the gangster life in the, in the hood, kind of, and 
a guy who is somewhat trying to break away from the hood but also kind of involved because you need you need certain things to survive you know it's about drugs and murder and everything and trying to get revenge and survival and everything that you can think of pretty much it's a very very interesting show the next one that we got on this list is Greenleaf. Oh, this show was my university show that I had with my housemates. And I enjoyed this show so much because it was interesting. It's about religion and the dirty, dirty secrets and fraud and abuse and suffering sexual assault and people that are in congregations that abuse the system and use the word of God for their own power sort of and abuse it and um, but it, it, it's about family as well and everything and it's just trying to kind of merge everything together and yeah it's, it's, it's a very interesting show I personally enjoyed this series and yeah, it's very eye-opening. Of course, this is not every church, this is not every congregation, but um, I feel like a lot of the things that they touched on is very, 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 very true in extremely big churches. Like, very big churches. These things, I'm sure, are very real out there. Um, so, yeah, I personally enjoyed this show and I recommend you watch it. The next one... You know, are you ready? Designated Survivor. It, actually, the main character is the same guy as the guy in 24. Um, it's very interesting because it's based in the United Kingdom, obviously, the house. What's the United Kingdom house called? <laughs> the White House. The White House. Oh, my days. The White House. So somebody assassinated the president. The president was died. And, of course, they had to then put on the Designated Survivor. And, be, and he, if the president dies, there is a designated survivor, he automatically becomes president. And yeah, all the challenges with being a president, him, not everybody understands him because the people did not vote for him. Um, and it's about trying to get the people on his side and this, uh, yeah, a bunch of things. The next show we have on here is also somewhat of a, I would say it's not comedy, but it's not. It's, 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 it can be funny if you look at it, depending on how you look at it. And this is called Dynasty. It's, of course, about a family. They are super duper rich uh, trying to build. They've already, they are very well established in the world of business. Family issues. People don't want to be part of their family because when there is money involved, there is too much drama. And you know, the thing, I, the thing I've actually realized about very, um, a lot of series when the family is rich it's people trying to escape from the family. Why? I mean, I get it. Because if your family is only concerned with money and business and all these and other people, it can cause a lot of issues and it can cause a sense of not belonging. But it's, it's, it's something that is, it actually occurs in a lot of series that when the family is rich, there's always at least that one character that wants to break away from the family. And yeah, I think that's interesting. My sociological mind is just like, hmm... I mean, I see, I see a trend here, <laughs> but yeah, Dynasty is interesting. Um, I got pretty bored of it very early on, not early on. I mean, I finished the show. <laughs> I'm waiting for the new season as well, but at some point I got bored and then I stopped watching and I came back to watching it again. So yeah, now I'm just waiting for the new season because I wouldn't know what happens. Last. On the next one, you know, the show keep you on the edge of your seat because it's very interesting you want to know who did this who did that and of course i'm sure you can guess already elite 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 this show is very interesting it's about i feel like i keep saying interesting forgive me how many times did i say interesting in this video <laughs> no this show is about a bunch of people a bunch of kids in high school and somebody murdered somebody from a rich family um, and they try to figure out who it is and as we watch the viewers we also try to figure out who it is and yeah it's a very interesting show it keeps you on the edge of your seat there is romance there is friendship there is education there is 
somewhat poverty, um, religion, mainly Islam, um, everything. And what have I not mentioned? Queen of the South. I don't know if this show, this is also another show I got pretty bored of. I watched it, I enjoyed it. At the beginning, it was very interesting. It was keeping you on your toes. I like, I like series that keep you on your toes. You know what I mean? Because I want to be involved. I want to feel like, oh my gosh, what is going to happen? I don't like to guess and know. You know one of them ones when you watch series and you know exactly what is going to happen. You can literally say this is about to happen and it happens because it's so predictable. That is what happened with watching Queen of the South. I get, I get pretty bored easily so I don't want to show that is... Yeah, you get what I mean? So Queen of the South is good. I did not finish watching it but I enjoyed season one and season two of the show. And I stopped, so I never saw the girl get the crown. And it's basically it's about drug, uh, control, yeah. Anything that you associate with drugs, the stereotypical drug stuff is all that. <laughs> Atypical. I love this show. This show, <laughs> this show just melts my heart. Honestly, honestly, this show is about autism. And it follows a young boy who is in school and is autistic and trying to make friends, trying to find love, trying to find love. But he's not your typical autistic person in the sense that he's very smart. He is, he's very articulate in comparison to other autistic people. Um, he is very aware well he learns to be very aware of people and appreciate people and understand people and yeah it follows him from going through high school to university it's basically focusing on the barriers that are put on autistic people that they can achieve this they can do that and this boy proves that in fact you can you can go to university you can have love you can go to you can achieve things you can work and all and yeah yeah this is your girl if you watched it all the way to the end make sure you subscribe and i hope you enjoyed it and yes 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 i've got more videos coming your way so thank you very much for watching thank that was so annoying that was <sighs> thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it we got more videos so thumbs up and i'm gonna do a korean k drama basically the same thing i'm gonna do K drama series that I think everybody should watch. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy it, you guys like it. And yeah, bye amigos. Bye my loves. Ciao, 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 my babies. Trey Squad, I love you. Bye bye, Trey Squad. I will see you in the next video. Woo! I'm so hyped. <laughs> I'm so hyped. I don't know why. Ciao.